Welcome to Hazard Communication in Healthcare Facilities, an interactive training program. This course should be reviewed to assure that the information conforms to recommended procedures, as well as to any federal, state, or local laws regarding any facility's operations. The producer makes no warranty, expressed or implied, that the information in this course is accurate or appropriate for any particular facility's environment or any individual employee's personal situation. Unauthorized duplication of this course is prohibited under copyright laws. Upon completing this course, you should understand how to use safety data sheets and container labels to get information about hazardous chemicals. Know what types of chemicals are typically hazardous. Know how to work safely with hazardous chemicals. Understand how to store chemicals safely. And know what to do in case of a hazardous spill. Press the forward arrow to begin the introduction to hazard communication in healthcare facilities. You've probably heard of OSHA's hazard communication standard, but you may not have thought about how it affects you. Did you know that an ordinary cleanser can actually be toxic, flammable, even explosive? OSHA's HASCOM standard and similar state laws exist so that you have the right to know about potentially hazardous materials that you may encounter in your workplace which is why they are sometimes referred to as the right to know regulations. Their goal is to make sure that you have the information, training and equipment you need to work safely around hazardous materials. Click on the topic you